my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, there we go. Big brown. Bam. Told ya. All right, guys, just gonna sneak up and throw my Sartre's mop and hope for the best. Already. They're on this mop. I wish I was throwing this from the start, guys. That's ridiculous, really first cast. The colors are just insane. Absolutely pretty fish. There's a monster brookie after that mop. Oh, we got him. I got him still. Oh my gosh. It's a big brookie, guys. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I told you there was a brookie and they're looking for that mop. I told you. He followed this thing a couple times, guys. It's a freaking tank. Oh my goodness. Now you got to hook one. On the Sartreuse mop, guys, the Sartreuse mop saves the day. What is up, guys? It is Osney Fishing Adventures, and today, me and my buddy Steven from Session Outdoors, his YouTube channel, check his channel out. I'll leave a link in the description below. We are out here exploring a brand new stream, and for the first time ever, we're both fishing in the state of Virginia. Never done this before. We are in search of native brook trout, and we are in the Appalachian Mountains today. We've hiked a ton to get to the stream, at least two and a half, about three miles to get to the stream, and boy, look behind me, guys. Look at that crazy waterfall. This is a small stream, but I have high hopes for today. This is all coming out of one little spring, which is absolutely ridiculous. Water's crystal clear, and we have nothing like this in the state of Pennsylvania. Well, we do upstate, but not here, and there's just so much water in this creek compared to PA, it's ridiculous. But hey, let's just get right into the video. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to get right into it, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads, baby. Let me show you my setup, and let's get right to catching some brookies and see if they're actually in here. All right, guys, so today I'll be using my Reddington Zero Four Weight Fly Reel. Going over from there, got a nice little small, about size 18 pheasant tail. Check it out, guys. It's a really juicy looking pheasant tail, and I caught a couple fish on this fly, but as you'll see throughout this video, I changed my flies throughout the video, and I'll show you the fly that I changed to in the bottom right corner as this video continues, because I really changed a lot. But today I'm using my Cabela CGR 4 weight 6.5 footer. This is an awesome fiberglass rod and it was only like 80 bucks off of Cabela's.com. Highly recommend you go check it out. I absolutely love this rod. It is such an awesome small stream rod. It really is. And my fly is attached to 4X tippet. That goes on to my cut for nymphing leader. And that goes on to my fly line. Let's get out there and fish guys. Alright guys, I'm going to try and sneak up on this pool right up here. That is. There he is. Beautiful. Oh, that's man. a colored up fish. Oh my gosh. Look at that little guy. Might be small, but look how pretty that fish is. Right at the pumpkin. Oh, oh my gosh, you just hooked one too? <laughs> wow, he's got a double up. Look at that. Get out of here, buddy. There he goes. We're coming up on a decent hole. A decent hole isn't that big here, but the thing is, the stream is loaded, like Steven said. Oh my goodness. It is just. And also, yeah, it's a nice little plunge pool right there. So slowly sneak up on here. We don't want to get too close. If you get too close, we're going to spook the brookies. It's hard to tell where my fly is right now. Oh, there went one. Crap. <laughs> I had one. <laughs> yeah, I saw him flash. Oh. All right, I'm in the tree. I got to sneak over here. You see that, guys? I saw him flash. He was a nice fish. Need more weight on, actually, I think. Oh, there he went again! There he goes. Yep. Not bad. Oh, he's colored up too. Look at that. Let's go. You. 
Nothing like coming out here on a Halloween, guys, and catching beautiful brookies like this. Oh my gosh, this guy is so colored up. Look at that. As you can see guys, I'm trying to get my flies all the way down to the bottom and how I'm doing that in this fast water alpine mountain stream is that I'm casting right into that white water because when I cast into that white water, that white water at the top of the pool brings it right down to the bottom of the creek and that's what I want. There it goes. Not bad. Look at the colors on these fish, guys. Oh my god. That is nuts. Absolutely nuts. These fish are so slippery. The thing about brookies, they actually, I'm not sure what it is, they just have a slippery, more slippery coating than all the trout. They aren't actually trout, they're actually a char. Fun fact. Not many people know that. Look at that. Crystal clear water. Don't get better than this. All right guys, really hope you're enjoying this video. This was an extremely tough day for me because there were so many native brook trout in this one little tiny stream that it was extremely hard not to spook them. There's just that many fish. Let's continue this crazy adventure that I went on with my buddy Steven and hope you're enjoying the video. All right guys, so from here I decided to switch up to a green Olsen's blow torches, a pattern that I've been experimenting with as of lately and boy, it works great in some situations, like especially for these brookies. You'll see what I mean. Finally, <laughs> took long enough, yeah. <laughs> I got off. Oh, yep. <laughs> At least I found something that are hidden now. Got something else bright on. Try to get down there, that way you could actually. Uh, yeah, land. it gets hard with this fly rod. There it goes. No. There you go. Got that one. Woo! It's ridiculous, guys. What a crazy day. Look at that. All right, guys. I literally lost like 10 fish in this hole. It's ridiculous. I had another one. Whoa! That's a really nice one. <laughs> there you go. There he goes. There you go. Ah, beautiful. Get a nice look at him. Check it out, guys. Look at that. Just an absolute pretty, pretty fish. This <laughs> is crazy. All right, guys. So Steven's trying to catch a fish on a gummy worm. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but there's so many fish in here. There's a big possibility it could happen today. Oh my hey gosh. Oh my God. That is crazy. All right guys, Steven has told me this hole is just absolutely loaded full brookie, so I must approach with stealth. Ah. Missed one. Come on, fish. Oh, yeah. That one? Yep, nice fish, too. There you go. Oh, that's a beauty. He came right up and took it. I saw him. As soon as it hit the water, he was on it. <laughs> nice. That's a beautiful colored up rookie. Look at that, guys. Let's get him unhooked. All colored up for the fall. Just cannot beat it. 
All right, guys, so finally, it has been a tough day for me. I don't know what's going on right now. Maybe the fishing will pick up in a little bit, but oh my, Steven has to have like 50 fish. I'm not even kidding. Him. He has to, I mean, he's using live bait too, but still, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's 40, ridiculous. That's ridiculous, dude. 47. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is nuts. I'm using a fly rod, so it has been tougher, but hey, you never know. The fishing could pick up for me. Maybe I'll just throw the right fly and maybe it'll just start mashing it. I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. It is crazy, guys. This hole is looking juicy. Let's see if we can finally hook a fish. It's been a while. I haven't caught a fish in 30 minutes. I'm not even kidding you guys. I haven't caught a brookie in like 30 minutes. Like that, boom. First cast. It hit? Nice. Beautiful. Come here, buddy. Oh, there we go. That was the quickest bite I think I've ever had. Holy cow, he was on that thing so quick. Look at that. It's another beautiful brookie. Look at the colors on these fish. You can't beat it. What a great Halloween I'm having, guys. Can't beat this. Get out of here, buddy. Can't see my fly. Oh my gosh, big brookie. Yeah. Oh no, I'm getting him up. Oh my gosh, that fish is so beautiful. It is gonna be. Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful male right there. Let's go. All right, guys, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so I switched it up to an eggs to see white egg pattern that's about a size 14 and caught a few on this pattern as well. It's almost near impossible to sneak up on this hole because it's just, you know, that tree's right there. I have no clue what's about to happen, guys, when I throw this in, but, oh, I know this tree's going to be a, a, come on, you serious? There he goes. Oh yeah. Well, right away. You gotta double up. This is crazy, guys. Fish after fish. Just can't beat it. Crystal clear water, insane little stream we got here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right guys, well me and Steven doubled up. Here, here's my tiny fishing. Oh my lord. That's a beautiful <laughs> That is a monster, dude. Check it out, guys. Just endless fun here. It is just ridiculous. Look at the colors on this bad boy. All right, get out of here, buddy. I need a little better. Whoa, take it easy, buddy. Yep. Not bad. Oh, get off. Not bad, guys. Look at that. Let's <laughs> go. Check it out. Not bad. Look at that, guys. Another brookie. Yeah, we spooked a really nice fish walking up on this hole. <laughs> I don't think he's coming back. All right, guys, sadly, due to some of my videos corrupting as I was downloading them onto the computer, I don't have as much footage as I did before, but luckily the big fish did stay on, which is good. So here are some of the bigger fish I caught, and the funny thing was, I went on a mop fly slay fest. Check it out, guys. For the rest of this video, I used my secret weapon, the chartreuse mop fly, and boy, did it work today. It's about a size 12 that I was using. Check it out, guys. Oh, you, oh my gosh. There's a monster brookie after that mop. Oh, look at him. Oh, that's a beast. He came up and nailed it. Beautiful. 
biggest of the day. Got him. Oh no. Oh, we got him. I got him still. Oh my gosh. It's a big brookie, guys. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. I told you there was a brookie and they're looking for that mop. I told you. He followed this thing a couple times, guys. That's a freaking tank. That's an easy 12 inch brookie, dude, by far. I might not want to walk too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys, just gonna sneak up and throw my Sartre's mop and hope for the best. Already. Beautiful. They're on this mop. I wish I was throwing this from the start, guys. That's ridiculous. Really, first cast. Another big fish too. Another di another decent brookie. Yes. <laughs> Let me get this guy released quick, and then we're going to get right after these other bigger fish. Steven just said he saw a bunch of other bigger rookies. Look at these fish, though. The colors are just insane. Absolutely pretty fish. All right, guys, got another really deep pool here. And I already know, probably another 12-inch rookie in it. Little guy. Yeah. Even the little ones are taking it. Endless brookies, look at that. Little guy, but he's still a brookie. He counts, still counts. Get out of here, buddy. This water's just crystal clear. It's nuts how clear it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Every cast is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, I'm setting the hook next time. I was trying to end the hole. Oh! There <laughs> we went. Oh my gosh, there's a little tiny one on it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they keep hitting it on the hang. There he goes. Oh my god! Can't keep him on the hook. This is ridiculous. Every cast. All right, guys. I got a little artificial. It's not actually a fly. It's a little artificial lure, but Steven was just killing with it. Just a little grub. Look, it's just a little grub artificial lure, but it's white. They're keyed up on this white because there must be a lot of grubs just around this you know, around the area or something. Swing under that rock over there. Oh, there he goes. Yep. Get down here, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Another little brookie. Gotta wet my hands somehow. There we go. This wasn't absolute fine for us. Look at that. Come on. Oh, <laughs> there's a little tiny one following it. There we go. It's another dinker, though. It's another brookie, though. Not complaining. <laughs> Not gonna complain at all. Probably the smallest one of the day right there. I know there's a monster in here somewhere. There you go. Not bad.
Come here, buddy. Yeah, let's go. Wow, guys, I gotta tell you, I had one crazy Halloween, didn't I? <laughs> that was just an absolute blast. I cannot believe this stream and how loaded it was. Thank you so much, Stephen, for inviting me over to Virginia to fish this beautiful stream that you showed me. Oh my gosh. Well, actually, he found it on Google Maps and we were thinking, hey, this might be a really good stream. We checked it out, hiked about two and a half, three miles to get there, and wow, just wow. Never experienced anything like this he had actually i'm not even lying to you a 95 fish day now he was using bait so that doesn't count <laughs> i'm a fly fisherman i caught about maybe 30 on the day the only thing is as i said some of my videos did get corrupted which sucked because almost half of my fish didn't i couldn't even show half of my fish but it was still an amazing video those fish were so colored up for the fall it was just in a, just phenomenal colors Phenomenal leaves, everything, all the leaves were down, so you're able to see all the leaves on the ground. Everything was just amazing. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to all you haven't yet, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads, baby. I'm out for now. Really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Oh, I forgot to mention, I just created a brand new website. Check it out, link in the description below, guys. I got a blog page, I got a channel merchandise page, you name it. Just go check it out, got some great content on there, and I know that all of my big fans out there really enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you next time.